a classic chicken and vegetable or main stir fry with a spicy twist. I'm Tess, and come join me as I make a delicious, homemade spicy Chinese lo mein from start to finish. Stay tuned. There are a couple of things that we need to get prepped and ready before cooking. First is the chicken. I have one pound of thinly one inch sliced boneless skinless chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast, but chicken thighs have the best flavor. Adding in one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, a pinch of salt, and about an eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper. And if you don't have white pepper, you can use black pepper. Giving everything a good mix and setting to the side for 15 minutes. And that'll give us enough time to get everything else prepped and ready. And now the sauce. I have a quarter cup of water and I'm adding in one tablespoon of light soy sauce. One and a half tablespoons of dark mushroom soy sauce, and this gives the lo mein that classic flavor. Two tablespoons of oyster sauce. And now for the heat twist, one teaspoon of garlic chili sauce or sambal sauce. Two teaspoons or one light tablespoon of brown sugar. And one teaspoon of sesame oil, giving that a good mix. This is one pound of lo mein egg noodles. I'm cooking for four to five minutes according to the package instructions and then rinsing in cold water to stop the cooking. Just be careful, you don't want to overcook the noodles. I have all my vegetables prepped and we are ready to cook. In my wok on high heat, I added enough oil to coat the sides and bottom. Make sure your wok is nice and hot before adding the oil. Placing in my chicken and leveling out. Letting the chicken cook for 20 to 30 seconds before stirring to form a nice crust and flavor. The chicken will only take four to five minutes to cook, then remove from the pan and set to the side. In my wok on medium heat, I added more oil and one cup each of thinly sliced onions and bell peppers. You can use the vegetables that you like, and I'm using what I have available. Cooking and stirring for a minute, and adding in five cloves of minced garlic. Cooking and stirring for two minutes, and then I'm adding in one cup or two stalks of bok choy where I separated the white and green. And this is another part of the spicy. About six red chilies that I cut in half and removed the seeds. If you like really spicy, leave the seeds in if you dare. Cooking and stirring for a minute. I found a great deal on snow peas and I couldn't resist. As you can see, this lo mein is full of vegetables and textures. Cooking and stirring for another minute. Adding back in the cooked chicken and the juices. The greens of the bok choy the cooked lo mein, and pouring over the delicious spicy sauce. Stirring everything to combine, and this is easiest done by using two wooden spoons or spatulas. Cooking for another minute or two until all combined and the lo mein noodles are heated through. Right before my final toss, I'm adding in a handful of chopped green onions. Tossing a couple more times and we are ready to eat. If you visit my channel, you will see that we love lo mein of all kinds. The addition of the chili garlic sauce and the red chili peppers gives this spicy lo mein a nice kick. A nice big plate of comforting homemade lo mein that you can make yourself just the way you like it. I hope you give this spicy Chinese chicken and vegetable lo mein a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. 
Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!